Hello everyone, I'm Alex and today I will be explaining to you what exactly is this game called Naraka Bladepoint and because I played beta for 50 hours so now I will tell you everything you need to know on why I think Naraka is the best battle royale game. Naraka is a new 60 player battle royale game, it will be launching on PC on August 12 and it's also been confirmed for PS5 but the release date is yet to be announced. First off, I would like to say that I've never been a huge fan of Battle Royale games with the exception of Apex Legend, being the only game from this genre that I actually enjoyed, and now I feel the same way with Naraka because of its unique gameplay. So the most of you think about Naraka is its big focus on melee combat, creating these crazy intense moments from hack and slash and fighting games. It can even look like it's all about smashing button no sense, but, but it actually has an important death that gives the chance to turn any fight around. This is because of rock, paper, scissor mechanic, having some normal attacks, charge attacks, the blue ones, and finally the parry, the red one, which only works against charge attacks. This is what makes the combat system so good, because it's not always about who hits first, but mostly about who adapts better, taking advantage of the combat, mechanics, and chances, making the combat system feel so intense, exciting, even when you lose. But that's not everything, we also have 5 weapons, we can be as useful and deadly as melee weapons, so you can kill enemies from distance if you have a good aim, but you can also use it before engaging to finish a player who tries to run away from you. If the gameplay doesn't look exciting enough already, Naraka's movement is as good as the combat with really high mobility and verticality with any character in the game. You can climb like Assassin's Creed style, but way faster and most importantly, you can use also a grapple hook to move anywhere around buildings and trees and even players. Just keep in mind you can't abuse it because it's actually a consumable object, so just keep that in mind. Speaking about consumables, the rest of the loot in the game is good, having enough stuff already to give you a lot of loadout combinations, rarity, skills and equipment to feel like every game is different loot wise. Also, at the release, they will be already adding a new weapon to the pool, so expect more and more as the game grows. If you come from another Battle Royale games, you won't feel lost with the loot and other mechanics because it's actually very similar to those other games. You could even tell the talks on of the best Battle Royale ideas from each game like Apex, Fortnite and even Hyperscape with the revive mechanic, in case you remember the game, of course. <laughs> in general, the Battle Royale mechanics is similar to other games. But Naraka is really, really competitive. And from the beta or demo, you could only play ranked games. You also have some upgrade system that affects the gameplay a little bit, and you'll be locking more stuff by just playing, so don't worry too much about it. And that I almost forgot to mention it, but Naraka has a unique character called Heroes, which have their own abilities and ultimates, so. Not only that, but you can also highly customize your hero, not just using skins like most games, but also modifying the entire faces, including skin tone and hair. Sadly, not everything is perfect in this game and there's a few things that will put some players off, and this video is to tell you everything about the game, so I'm gonna be totally honest about the cons as well. The main big problem is the fact that the game is not free. It will not be as expensive as a triple A because it costs just $20, but sadly I feel like most games from this genre should be free to play if they want to have a chance to reach more players and to compete with other Battle Royale games. In my opinion, the game totally worth the money, and I think most people will feel the same way if they like it and if they try it out. But they can't if they have to pay, so please, if you see the game free to play in a weekend or something, give it a try, you may like it. I also feel like the game needs more weapon, but it's already taken care because they just announced that they will be adding a new weapon right from the start, so there's not too much to complain about it, especially when they are really well balanced from what I can see and what I played. The last thing I want to say is that I feel like the game is really competitive, like really, really competitive. Don't get me wrong, I really like it because I am actually addicted to this kind of games that motivate you to improve with ranks and those kind of stuff. I even made it to top 50 EU player on solo queue during the beta. But the main problem I have with this is the fact that the game should have a casual mode or quick play. For players that only want to play for fun or for those who don't want to fully commit to the competitive aspect. I couldn't even play with my friends because of this. So I hope the final game or in the future have some casual modes and everyone can enjoy the game in any way they want. Everything else in the game is nice, I really enjoyed it the beta and hope the game keeps improving. 
If you decide to try it out, go ahead because it's actually really addictive and exciting game because of its unique gameplay. And if you want to know more about the game, I will be covering it and I will help you with some tips and guides to start with a high advantage against other players. So don't forget to subscribe. I'll be also streaming on Twitch on the release date if you want to come and watch me play. If you like the video, leave it a like. If not, then a dislike. I hope you enjoy it anyway and see you later.